All right, let's try the front. Hopefully these guys won't be right behind me this time. See how long it takes. An hour and a half to play the front or back. All right, so we're in the middle here. And it looks like about 200 downhill, maybe. And that's how we do it, folks. Although it, take, when it took me an extra stroke. All right, folks, so number two, since we're now ending on the backside. I don't know what this is. I remember this hole, though. It's kind of a straightaway off the tee, and then it brings, plays to the right. Kind of a fairly common hole. Just have to be careful not to miss the fairway because there is really no room here to miss. Which is exactly what I did. Hit a high cut to the right, off the toe, next shot long in the fairway. And we're set for this nice challenging, this hole and this green and the next green are really challenging green. Not challenging greens, but not too challenging. So let's get this done. I've lost my tee shot here, so a six or seven. Okay, so we've lost the group behind us. I guess they started on the first hole. We started on the 10th, so here's the number three. This is a 129 par three. I don't know if this video stabilization is any good. Well, I'll try it maybe next time. It's got too many pop-ups on this 6A, Google 6A. This hole is, from memory, you're either too short or too long. It's such a tough shot to nail down. I'm going to put my first one, hit about a third nine iron from up there, and it was at least five yards short of the freaking lip. So we're chipping on from here. All right, this is kind of a fun one. This is number four at the Raven. So see the green way down there. And this is technically, you know, you drive it down there as far as you can. But it's also, that fairway is a lot harder to get to than it seems. I think the last time I played it, I barely got over the car path and got there. This time, I'm, again, I'll be lucky to get in play here in the fairway. All right, so we are uh, in a clear spot out there, or straight ahead. I was a little left and very long, getting a little bit long lately. And that was long enough to clear all that waste. It might have landed short of the road, I think. Yeah, we're over here somewhere next to that red stake. I don't know if I can even get there, but we want to go there. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> next hole, after losing two balls in that last hole, we are, uh, I think this is uh, six. We are be lucky to get to that tree there in the center. We have to go back to the car path way back there. Sorry, this is five at the Raven. So I got lucky here. I kind of topped it just a little bit. It was a low T. Somehow topped it. And then uh, this one, you have to be careful not to go after that uh, fairway up there. We want to get just past a tree and then we'll have a shot to the elevated green. Probably lay up here also and hope we get a good second shot. Now the money shot, we have about 160 to that green. Bad, not bad ball. Took a little bit of a low fly on me and skated across the green. Number six and we're going at it at about 175. No, that's probably about 165 right there, so we'll see. Guess I played that one okay. Got a little brush of the tree right there and then I heard it thump nicely and that's a good sound. Nice video. <laughs> Number seven at the Raven. A long hole, let's see what happens. One more quick zoom in and look down the fairway. It's a very, very dangerous shot. I'm just left here, about 15, 15 yards to the left, and man, that is the right side is just brutal. All right, number eight, the Raven. We are teeing off into a decent breeze here, about 10 mile an hour, and we really just want to get up there on the car path almost on the left. Car path would be just fine. Now I admit that I lost the first ball. I was a little bit too aggressive and cut it by accident. But that second ball was spot on and we are just lined up here. Let's see if we can get this five or six here. All right, I remember this hole pretty well. I didn't know it was here though. It was, I thought it was somewhere else. Um, so this is fun because the part past the cart, past the, the creek is drivable. But you see how it tightens up? Oh yeah, it reminds me of another hole in a course down by Richmond. That's similar. Um, 
you see how it tightens up as it comes to the green? So it's like a trap. You can go for that green, but the odds that you're going into the woods increase with increasing distance. So the question is what to hit here? Do you hit short and go or go for the green? All right, folks, so here we're at the Raven Golf Course in West Virginia. Snowshoe, West Virginia, finally made it out of here. It took me a good, a good five hours to get here today. Started off last night, drove two hours, stopped at Staunton. Then I picked up from there and it took me another four hours to get here. Um, so we're starting off on number 10. Let's see if I can video my way around this course. Okay, second shot here. I hit a little bit left. Got up in this crap here and luckily came out. Uh, got a playable ball at least. And uh, let's see here. So um, a little bit tighter than I thought. The ball didn't break usually. A problem I've been having a lot lately. My cut shot's not breaking, but anyway. So we found the ball. <laughs> we're still in play number 10. Number second shot. All right, we were able to get out and play from up there. Not the world's best shot, but again, not in the weeds, not in the woods, not lost. So we're set up here for a decent shot onto the green for, I guess, this is a par four. Wow, pulled it a little left up there. Got right on the car path that bounced up there on the top of the sand trap to the left. How's that for three? And we're up here, so we'll find it. There's someone right behind me. Of all the shitty lost balls, it came in there somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. I was too far back. And there's someone right behind me. So anyway, on to number... 11. <laughs> this is a fun one. It's a long par 5. Dog leg left. Very familiar to Swan Creek and down in Southern Maryland, Charles County. Alright, decent drive. We got out there in the fairway just a little bit to the right. And let's keep going. So this is a tricky shot here. We've got a big swale on the right front of the green. And all that stuff to the right. So basically, you know, we just want to stay out of trouble here and get in front of the green and chip on. All right, lying there about uh, about 100 out there and on to the pin we go if we get lucky. Straight away, can't beat it with a stick, can you? Wow, that one took an unfortunate hop there. It's kind of a crown in the center of the green. And we are... Bounced off at about 45 degrees off that crown and went to the right, so it's on the fringe by the right side there where that gully is between those two trees. Uh, we might be in some serious peril. It should be right there where those stairs are. A little long, a little strong. I didn't bring my pitching wedge up with me, so we're going to putt from up there anyway. Not bad. Could be a lot worse. Last time I played it, I made a complete mess of this hole. So yeah, I'm trying to stay ahead of the group that came up behind me on the 10th tee while I was on the green on number 10. And we'll just assume that chip was on the green and putt out here for something like a five or six. Well, number 12. So this is a 200 yard par three. We are about uh, maybe 20, 20, 30 feet above the green here. Uh, this is a challenging hole because not only do you have the creek there, or the pond to the left there, you also have a very steep drop off behind the green. And the last time I played it, I put a ball pretty much on the pin, but it bounced off and rolled over the back there down that hill. It took me like two or three strokes to get back on the green. So this time we'll be a little bit more conservative with our shot, hit and drive her out, and let's see. All right, so I tried to um, kind of pop it out there in front of the green. The high cut and it hit a little bit right there in the rough bounced down and is now right next to that trap i think it's just to the right so we'll have a little flop there to that green and the greens are very fast here they are nice and dry the weather is nice and cool it's about 60 degrees here at 11 30 11 30 or so and the greens are just fast as hell Okay, so we got down here nicely. Ball bounced right about where those car tracks are, but in the rough. Came up here. And now we have this. 
the lake is just going to the right there, so we have to be very careful here. Especially as fast as the greens are. And let's not talk about how that last one pulled, turned out. <laughs> I played a stupid flop, missed it, and then played an even stupid flop out of the sand trap. Traded balls with the ball, probably one down behind a tree behind a green, other side of the car path. So here, number 13 goes left behind those trees that you see there. And it's a nice hole, very long hole. Uh, 420, 430, par 4. Alright, so we're lying 3 here. Took me 2 shots to get around those trees. And I still haven't gotten around these trees. And now we have to get in there for 4. Take a 5 and run. These guys are right behind me. Alright, I forget exactly what hole this is. Like 14 or 15. Par 3, 202 from the back. And we're just going to lay up here. See if I can get... There's a big creek there. See if I can get past that and get on. Ah, we hit the cart path right at the top of the rise there. Ball went over here, <laughs> right next to where I stopped. Just happened to randomly stop there and then kicked it out. And we are standing there with that chip. So I'll give this a four. All right, so this is 15, 453 from the back tees. And I guess it's a five. I, I don't know. We'll find out key here we're just gonna get in play and go on and play the rest hole okay so we're in play here not bad about 225 on the left there and we're gonna play down to the hole down on the left I can't I lost my zoomy thingy so I guess I can't fix the zoom but anyway not bad for a first shot stay out of trouble here all right we just want to get on there and get out yeah so I'm down here why am I down here because I got a letter from a greenskeeper telling me the course was Markedly improved and I should come out and give it another try. So I am What fun I'm three chips it. Well, I have to say the greens are awesome No complaints there at all. Of course it's in great condition. Weather's awesome So this hole is a lot like a course I played up in Pittsburgh like the 17th hole uh, It's got a double Valley Very challenging. This one's a little bit more open than that one though Okay, so I tried it with a 5-iron first and got it a little bit left. It bounced under that tree in the left there, and I think it fell back down the hill into the waist. It might still be there because the grass is kind of long there. Went in and hit a driver, got it uh, to bounce just to the left of the fairway on that little swale there, and it popped up to the right and went down the fairway. Beautiful drive. So I definitely would recommend, you know... <laughs> Going for something with the little legs there, unless you've got a good long iron. Yeah, that iron didn't make it out of there. It was close, had a good line, no, good line on it, but didn't quite have the legs. And the drive is sitting right up there on the side. Beautiful. Top of the hill, flat and everything. Four iron down there by the green. Away we go. All right, this is 18. We're going to take about a half an hour break after this, because this guy is got his nine and I'm gonna take my nine the next nine and uh, this is a 420 this one's a little tougher than the last one because now you have two places to lose your ball so we have to be very careful beautiful shot just a nice cut back into the center shot of the 18th green huh from the car path 